hello and welcome back everybody to another youtube video in this video i will explain and solve problem set 3 grocery list so we should implement a program that uh, prompts the user for items one per line until the user inputs control d then i would put the user's grocery list in all uppercase sorted alphabetically by item and prefixing each line with the number of times the user inputted that item so let's start with initializing a dictionary let's call it grocery and since we will keep asking the user until he inputs uh, control D so let's make a while loop and to handle uh, to handle and detect if the user inputs control D we will use try and accept so try uh, here we will take input from the user and accept e o f error print a new line then break just like the previous video so there is two scenarios here uh, the first one is that uh, the user inputs an item that's not in our grocery list or the user inputs uh, an item that uh, is already in the list so let's make if statement let's check if the item is in the dictionary and if, uh, if that's the case what happened here okay never mind excuse me for that okay let's continue if the item is in our dictionary uh, let's let's see yeah, let's add uh, yeah before that let me just explain what we will store in the in the dictionary we will store the key which is the item for example uh, apple and uh, the value will be will be the number of times uh, we inputted this key which in this case apple so if the item that uh, user inputs is already in our grocery uh, in our grocery dictionary so let's add one to its value and uh, we can do this like that grocery plus one yeah and otherwise if the item is not in our grocery we want to add a new key to the to the dictionary and initialize uh, a key with it uh, sorry a value with it which is equal to one and this is how you do this grocery item equal to one so here if if the item is not in our dictionary python will automatically put it in our dictionary it will add a new key and it will initialize its value equals to one so when the user inputs this item again it will go in this if statement and and we will we will add one to it okay and um, yeah we also should output every item in uppercase so let's actually store uh, our items in the dictionary uppercase so we can 
do so using upper method I think it's enough to put it here but we will see at the end when we run the program if that works or not and uh, since the program is case insensitive we want to force the item that the user inputs to uppercase so let's use the upper method here as well I think this part is done let's uh, go ahead and print uh, the keys of our dictionary and its values but in this case we will print the, the values first then the keys so we will actually make a for loop for example uh, for item in keys we want to print the key f the value first uh, sorry that's not how you write grocery then sorry this should be item okay then we want to so the value then the key which is item so after switching to PyCharm, let's uh, run the program and try let's uh, try apple again let's write it uppercase Control Z and C. Uh, the output should be uh, two space apple and apple all uh, uppercase. So let's see if that's the output. Nice, that's the output that we expected. So um, let's uh, let's try uh, the examples given in the problem. Okay, let's run again. Uh, let's type mango, then straw, control D, okay nice, let's try second example here, milk, then milk again, and control D, okay, there is an error here. Oh, I see. I th yeah, yeah, we should uh, also add the upper method here. Because what happens in, in this line, we store the milk or any item uh, that we inputted for the first time in uppercase. So when we input milk again, this code evaluates because item dot upper which is milk all uppercase is in grocery but here before let's remove this yeah before adding the upper upper method we 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 were access we were accessing the grocery item without the upper method so here milk is uppercase and it's in grocery but here we access the grocery with the key milk not uppercase do you see the problem so there is no such a, there is no such a key in the in our dictionary so that's why we got this error so let's add upper method again and test the same example milk and milk again uh, control D see that's oh, that's now working I think there is uh, one more step missing which is to order alphabetically so let's run the program to see what uh, we want to do let's then Apple okay what we want to do is to print apple first so uh, since we use the dictionary here the dictionary keys so it uh, we iterate 
the the keys in order of the grocery dictionary so if there is uh, here if this uh, in the dictionary uh, for example banana then apple then mango the, the iteration will be uh, first iteration will be banana then apple then mango so if we found if we find a way to sort the keys in our dictionary we should be done and there is actually a way to do so we will just add sorted it's a function which will sort the keys for us so let's uh, test again let's run the program let's try banana apple then uh, maybe mango any anything so the output should be one apple one banana one mango uh, yeah control d see that's all that's not working because we added the sorted function so i think everything is working just fine yeah let me check give me a second here yeah that's uh that's it the program is completed uh, thank you for watching uh, as always try uh, solving this problem using a different approach don't uh, copy my code and paste it you will not gain any good from this that's cheating and uh, that's it thank you for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos